guys. So today's video is going to be a, it's probably not a soft cut crease, but everything is really blendy, so maybe it is. I have no idea. Um, but yes, so my camera died and ran out of footage, like room to film, which is why I'm doing the intro and outro right now on this. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. This eye turned out a lot better than this one did. Um, I did two different methods in getting the cut crease, and I definitely preferred the second one. It worked out way better. Um, that you will see in the video. Um, so yes, and on my lips, uh, my camera cut out when I was doing those. Um, so I used Shroom from um, Lime Crime. And... The H&M lipstick. H&M now has a makeup brand, and they're amazing. The pigmentation of their stuff is insane. It is wicked. Um, in, in a nutshell. So I paired those two up on the lips, and that is about it. So yes, without further ado, I will just get into the video, and don't forget to stay tuned until the end. Alrighty, so I'm just starting out by priming my eyelids using concealer. I find that this works best for me. And then I'm going in with a taupey shade, it's kind of like a purpley, and I'm blending that in my crease as my transition shade. And then I'm going to be taking a purple, it's kind of a deeper purple, and I'm adding that into layers. So I'm starting off with it very sheer and very soft. And then I just keep going in and adding more purple and making it darker the closer I get to my actual crease so that I have a very nice blended yet still cut crease. And I'm really trying to keep that above my eyelid. I don't want it to go too low and if it does I can always clean it up. So yes, just taking that purple shade and taking a smaller brush this time and making sure that I get it a nice line and making that all nice and then after I'm gonna go in with some black and deepen it up even more because I want this to be a very nice cut and my other eye doesn't look very good but the one I'm working on right now turns out really nicely so blending is key in any kind of look that you're going for so that's why you see me go in a lot with um, a blending brush and more product and less product and trying to get the perfect amount of blendy while still having pigmentation. So yes, going in with the black and making sure everything is nice and blended, going back in with some purple, got me jamming out. And then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to carve out my lid and I'm going to start off with a white because I find that the white makes the gold that I'm going to use on my eyelid show more. It makes it more vibrant. So I'm just trying to really focus that and cut out my eyelid. <laughs> I'm going to cut out my eyelid. And for this, you, I made my eyelid a little too small. I could have gone up a little more and just to make my eye look wider. So then I'm just taking the gold and I'm buffing that right over top. I'm using a pat and blend motion. So I'm really packing on the color and then going in to blend it with the white. And then I'm going into, oh, lol, a random spot of me powdering my face. And then I'm just going to go in with eyeliner. And my eyeliner actually looks bomb for this eye. And I'm making a wing that's kind of dramatic, kind of not. I'm following the line that I created and I'm filling in the space between the gold and the purple and you can't really see what I'm doing because I'm totally out of frame for this um, but you do see little clips of it after and here I realize that I'm out of frame. Uh, so just making sure that the end, like the tip of my wing is really nice and sharp and then I'm going in and I'm tight lining uh, my upper waterline and then adding mascara and some lashes and that's me getting really excited about how bomb my eyeliner looks because I don't do eyeliner often so it usually doesn't turn out as great for me and I did go in and add a white into my lower waterline just to brighten up my eyes a little bit and then put on mascara and you can put on false lashes if you want to I don't believe I did for this and that's honestly the look complete 
Um, I just went in and did some bronzer, regular stuff, and some blush. And that was about it for the look. And oh, I'm also taking the purple and smoking it underneath my lash line. And then adding bottom mascara. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.